A realm is where a being is born, habitually living in that realm for the number of eons or years specified on this chart. A plane is a temporary attainment similar to the realm, but it's attained by a being living in a different realm. So a human being living in the human realm can, by practicing samatha meditation, attain certain higher states, which we can call sense spheres, uh, which are not going to last the full lifespan of that being, but can be attained for as long as the state of meditation lasts. A, a being may be born into any of the realms by virtue of being either the recipient of some skillful kamma or by being a skillful meditator who has repeatedly practiced certain forms of meditation and then the, the next birth can be in one of the higher realms or if that being has habitually been doing unskillful things the next birth can be in one of the low realms which are places of suffering. Those beings have a lifespan in that um, realm which is shown on the right hand side of the chart. It is also possible on a temporary basis for a being to generate the kind of consciousness, the kind of chitta, from or in another um, plane from the one he is born in. So you have the example, which Samantha asked earlier, about deities manifesting in the human plane. That is, for a temporary period, they can do that. Similarly, a meditator living in the human plane by practicing certain kinds of meditation may attain any of these jhanic planes. He won't live there forever and ever and ever, but on a temporary basis, for a limited period of time, he can reach those particular planes. Now, okay. I had one other question. Of the mind. Well, mind they're all attain the mind. They're all mental attainments. Whether you regard them as hallucinations or as a genuine attainment, I think you have to rely on experience. And if you doubt them, then you can attain them for yourself. Has that answered your question?